At MACE, our mission is to work with clients around the world to help shape cities and build sustainable communities for the future. In Sub-Saharan Africa, MACE is delivering a diverse range of projects for our clients, combining its international experience and local knowledge to add value throughout the region. At the Victoria and Alfred Waterfront Silo Development in Cape Town, South Africa, MACE has delivered multi-award winning buildings 1 and 2 and has been reappointed for buildings 3, 4 and 5, as well as project managing the transformation of the historic and iconic grain silo building into the Zeitz Museum of Contemporary Art Africa, designed and reimagined by internationally renowned architects Heatherwick Studio. We're currently standing on the roof deck of the new Ellen Gray building, which we've completed. This building has won every single possible award that you can win in South Africa, so it's an extreme success. It's the first six-star building that South Africa has delivered. We're redeveloping this beautiful building, which is a silo, and it's going to be absolutely spectacular. It's going to be an architectural masterpiece, and it's also going to be housed probably one of the world's best museums in the area. So it's going to bring a huge amount of footfall, demonstrating to South Africa what we can deliver and why we should be the project manager of choice. I've had the privilege of working with MACE for the last three years in the silo district development. Their people truly are their best asset. They are committed, they are passionate, they have integrity. Our success in South Africa has been down to the fact that we've maintained a very strong uh, client focus. The VNA Waterfront as a key client for us has been significant. It clearly demonstrates that offering a very good service has led to repeat, repeat order business. In Johannesburg, Mace is working with global clients such as Absa Barclays, Nokia Siemens Network and Microsoft, as well as growing its presence in the public sector most notably with the Passenger Rail Agency of South Africa, where MACE is working on the upgrade of Park Station, Johannesburg's central railway station, and the largest railway station in Africa. Probably this is one of the most exciting projects that I've worked on in, in my career. What we've really uh, introduced or bettered in South Africa is our standard of, of health and safety, which our client, Apps and Barclays, are are very strict upon and MACE has got a very strong culture in that respect and I think we've we put together a pretty strong team here and that was the, the success of this project. Working with Ghanaian client Lauris Development Partners, MACE is delivering a world-class commercial office development, One Airport Square in Accra, Ghana. This ultra-modern building is Ghana's most advanced development, employing the latest building technologies and principles, and is set to become Ghana's first ever environmentally certified building. This building, for example, has got technologies that save power. We're using more natural light in the building. We're recycling water. We're using the flushing, which uses air pressure rather than you know, the usual water-based systems. Um, and this building is one of the first buildings that's actually got a very advanced um, seismic technology. Very exciting, um, yeah, challenging project. A lot of first is the first to have a diagrid structural component. In Luanda, Angola, MACE is delivering a large scale social housing project, Nova Vida, with more than 3,200 apartments and houses being delivered within a 32 month program. The future of MACE in Africa, I can see it, it's very optimistic, it's a bright future. It's a developing continent. We've been able to benefit from all the, the systems, the controls, the quality assurance, the health and safety standards that we typically apply elsewhere around the world and bring those into the South African and the African market. So in essence, it puts us on the front foot because we're able to bring high levels of innovation into the working environment.